Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 15th of November, mid-month. And we've got all of November to try to make a new high above 36,565. That was on the 8th of November in the Dow. Doji Candle Peak F in Chapman Wave methodology. Pull back sharply to the 14-period moving average, trying to rally now. It is up 96 uh, points. And uh, it's really after five sessions after that high a week ago. Uh, we're looking at something that is... Uh, it's holding well, but it's not showing tremendous strength. But there is strength based on the nine period moving over the 14 period moving average and holding there. That is giving it some internal strength. And that I have to respect as something that could allow for higher prices. The S&P has pulled back from the high intraday high, but it's still at 46.88, up five, which is 47.18.50 was the all time high uh, just over a week ago. It's pulled back and it's holding very nicely within this range. Can it make a V-shaped pattern? Well, it needs to clear 47.06 uh, by Tuesday. And that says, yep, then it can do it. But we're looking at the resistance in that weekly chart. Two weeks in a row we've held. Will the third week be the resistance again in the Chaffin Wave inside track repellent zone? Looking at the QQQ, one, two, three, there we go. Uh, pulling back down 32 cents at 394.38. Ha! If you look at Tesla, look at this. Tesla had round numbers and all sorts of things. Made an all time high of 1243.49. Had a round number low of 1217. The next day, they had a round number low of 1208. And gap down is pulled back. It's now at 989. After a peak G, two doji candle highs and a peak E in the weekly chart. So there could be a little bit of an influence there. However, we are looking at the QQ, uh, sorry, the IWM which was leading and is now kind of, I wouldn't say it's fading, but it isn't leading anymore. It's down 49 cents. It's just kind of stuck off that all-time high of 244.46. Look at gold. Gold's holding very nicely. Uh, it has pulled back from a recovery high. It's down five at 1863. I would say the 18... Uh, 1835 to 1829 area is really strong support this week. If it can hit 1881, that's fantastic. Uh, look at the dollar holding very nicely. It is pulling back. It was pulling back. Now it's up six ticks. Should make a, another leg higher. It's acting very well. It's a TLT that's really interesting here because for over three weeks since the 25th of October, it's just been going sideways to down. And that's just telling us that everything has its time for for a digestive phase, and that's where it's at. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento. He's got his webinar coming up on Wednesday, and I will be doing the Boston Investors Group. Um, uh, uh, it's going to be, I'm the guest speaker. It's online. Go to the front, go to the Google, and you can check it out. Boston Investors Group, and I'll be the guest speaker there. And if you That'll be